Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to talk about the common questions that are asked in mass transfer. Uh, we have had discussions with fluid mechanics, we have had discussions with heat transfer, what kind of questions, what topics to prepare in heat transfer. But today we are going to talk about another important thing in the aspect of uh, you know interviews pertaining to mechanical, particularly chemical engineering, you know, uh, mass transfer. Absolutely important topic, but let me tell you one thing mass transfer questions are a little tweaked around it is amalgamated with industry practices yes very very important one of my friends in one of the companies uh, got a similar kind of question that on crude oil distillation some kind of a mass transfer that uh, in a crude oil distillation why do you think you know uh, uh, reboiler is never used why do you think steam injection is done instead? So these kind of questions are pertaining to both heat transfer and mass transfer that why didn't you use, you know, uh, uh, reboiler in a distillation column, a simple answer of this. One of the one of the reasons I will tell the rest of the reasons, I leave it to you, you know, if you can answer in the comment section also, it would be pretty fantastic. Uh, one of the reasons is definitely the chance of a suit of carbon on the reboiler itself because the heavy residual uh, structure of uh, what settles down in the distillation column of crude oil distillation, particularly in the atmospheric distillation unit, that is the ADU, is something, you know, uh, that can create problems. Also, in the BDU, it is C60 and C60, it is, it is pitch. So, the pitch that we use on the uh, pitch that we use on the road so it is that hard and if it you know uh, covers the boiler surface it will affect the heat transfer abilities of the reboiler it will it will damage its thermal conductivity and that's why you know uh, we do not use a reboiler this is one of the reasons why we do not use a reboiler in a distillation in a, in a crude oil distillation unit because there are chances of residual deposit on the surface of the uh, reboiler first now the question you know uh, will be similar to the structure you know you will be asked amalgamated questions from hydro desulfurization mass transfer you will be asked amalgamating the cre that is chemical reaction engineering and mass transfer will uh, they will go hand in hand they will give you some kind of questions like if i dip this you know if i react with this what kind of mass transfer will occur when diffusion will be occurring uh, when you know uh, when uh, you know you will you will uh, face an event of uh, diffusion what diffusion law will it follow uh, very very important you know you should know what you're talking about you should know the fixed law you should know both of them first law and second law you should know the laws of mass transfer a very important thing that is often asked in mass transfer are two equipments you should know these two equipments inside out one is the absorption column absorption column not adsorption absorption column and you should know all the four processes we have a separate video on all of them stripping absorption co-current counter current what are these four processes? When are they used? How do their graphs look? What is the purpose? They will ask you this. Let me tell you. First, second is they will they can definitely ask you distillation columns. They will ask you distillation columns. Maybe related to crude oil distillation, maybe related to some other chamber, because distillation column is that one equipment which is almost call, common in all the sectors. Let me tell you. Uh, absorption towers and distillation columns are the two most critical most and common most equipment in an industry third is cooling tower questions can come very very common unit once again uh, questions can come from adsorption questions can come from gas liquid uh, interaction question can come from gas gas separation questions can come from uh, uh, solid solid separation questions can come from solid liquid separation question can come from liquid liquid extraction as well so all kind of interactions in between gas liquid and solid and how to extract the one from the other at least those basics should be very very clear to you two basic equipment should be very three in fact basic equipment should be very very clear pertaining to mass transfer distillation column absorption tower and evaporator evaporator has also, I've mentioned that in the heat transfer section as well, but you will have to be uh, like uh, knowing the concept here as well. Then the boundary layer concept, definitely the mass transfer analogies uh, with the numbers that you use in mass transfer. What kind of numbers, dimensionless numbers do you use and how does it draw its analogy, analogy to the heat transfer? Uh, they might be asking you 
in fact, the competitive examinations, interviews also, they ask a lot on these lines as well. So you should be well accustomed with the dimensionless numbers of mass transfer. Uh, you should be accustomed with these two equipments and then industrial practices. Uh, and you should be prepared for questions where the industry practices the, the crude, in the crude oil sector or in the petrochemical sector, what kind of equipments are used and when and how they are used to, in order to, you know, uh, do this thing, uh, control can control the parameters. You should note structures of flash evaporators, very, very common ones again, you know, how do they work, PVT diagram you should be very, very clear with, directly correlates itself with mass transfer. So wherever and whichever sector you feel that there is a chance of a mass transfer, which is a very, very common phenomena, you should be well accustomed with all of those sectors, let me tell you. And this is how you will crack the mass transfer section in an interview. That was it from my end. I've spotted out the important topics for mass transfer. Rest, I leave it up to you. We are going to make videos on other subjects as well soon. Till then. If you like the video, like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel and hit the bells icon for regular updates. That's it from my side. Thank you very much.